Well, howdy there, Bob here. I don't know if I'm gonna do this on my locksmith channel or my YouTube, uh, my van channel, step van channel. Uh, here's what I'm doing. My automatic transmission, I'm swapping out. When I get rid of this 292, I'm putting in uh, a small block Chevy. And I'm gonna use a 4L80E. So that stick shift you see right there will be gone. And all the stuff I did to make this 292 work in this vehicle. Uh, if I can get around the other side, I'll have to redo. See if I can get away from the wind. So, anyways, you know I put an electric fan in here because uh, the belt was slipping on the 292 here. Actually, the belt's kind of loose now and slips and it wears. And so uh, I've had to rinky dink it together to keep it running, and it's been running great. Uh, the occasion I have to give her this belt. I do have the brackets for that power steering pump, which is very rare, I guess. 292s uh, normally didn't have a power steering. Uh, I don't know when they started doing it, but uh, this 292 was a 68, 72, I think. And so, uh, of course, this vehicle is a 73. And I have power steering because this is also what controls my uh, hydro boost up here. And it all goes. It also controls the power steering gear, of course, down there. So it's all tied together on a GM uh, Hydro Boost. But anyways, so when I put my V8 back in, that's going to fix that problem. I'll have this already done. The problem is when I do this uh, automatic transmission, I have a emergency brake on this vehicle, which is an e-brake. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Hopefully, the volume's going to come through on this. So there's an e-brake right there. I hope the volume's not all messed up. That wind is muffled and I don't know how this GoPro is going to film. So, you know, I'll have to be able to get rid of that clutch pedal. I'll probably just leave it in there. But uh, I also have to have a neutral safety switch because the clutch pedal goes off the... There's a neutral safety switch on it underneath there. So, the new transmission, it's new, used. Let's go inside and take a look at this real quick. Don't mind the mess. I've been dealing with in-laws and stuff. So here's my V8. Let's see if I can get a better picture here. Different lighting. So that's my V8. It's rebuilt, ready to go. Everything's new, uh, ready to rock and roll. I do have some stuff I have to do. Uh, for the pulleys and everything to have it ready and I have a new flywheel for it that's going to go right there and it's right now set to number one top dead center and I left everything set up ready to go for it so yeah, let's see yeah right there my mark uh, I brought I bought a B&M shifter let's see if I can get my light here this is a gate style I don't know why I went with that I think it, I got it at such a low price that's all steel so it's I think it's that is probably stainless let me see yeah that's stainless steel plastic on the side so it looks like plastic but it is actually stainless this does not have a neutral safety switch in it so but the transmission I'm using it's going to be this right here and so let me see here that is a neutral that has your reverse uh, and your neutral safety switch. That's all that that is, is just a selector switch that'll go on the side of the transmission. And it'll go right there. If you can see it, it's going to go right down in there. And uh, that part number for that is this. Turn it right side. It's a park neutral position switch for a 4L80E. Not on Amazon. They're not very expensive, like 20 bucks. But it's helpful because uh, you don't want to accidentally start your automatic uh, transmission while it's in gear. And so uh, I got this TH400 I'm selling too. But uh, the, the 4L80E, the guy I got it from, he swears by it. And you know how that goes. Hopefully I put it in and it works out just fine. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'll go to plan B, C, D, or E, whatever it is. I do have the torque converter to that engine somewhere on the floor over there. And then uh, with this, 
I bought a flywheel that's supposed to be compatible between an old Chevy small block uh, like mine. Here's the. Anyways, uh, let me change the lighting on this. Sorry. And that is, uh, will fit this and uh, will fit the, uh, I believe my torque converter is a three bolt. That is sitting under some stuff. I gotta clean up everything, anyways, but. So that'll mount to this. Uh, the torque converter I have came with that uh, 4L80E in the back there. And uh, let's see, I have uh, the drive shaft that came to that too, so the slip yoke is on it for the, the tail shaft. So that's that. And uh, a couple other things, and this come with this. I'm probably going to use a Rochester. I do have a Holly Carb over here, I believe. Oh, I'm just chucking some bolts. I was thinking I might use the Holly. But I'm just kind of, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it needs to be rebuilt or not. This Rochester is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's been rebuilt. I rebuilt it right before I pulled that whole engine out. Sorry for the mess. So this is uh, what I really want to go over is a U.S. shift. It's a Gen, uh, Gen 2, quick, a quick 2. U.S. shift, quick 2, Gen 2. I only got this because I didn't need the quick four, five or six. It, uh, the thing with this is it will shift my electric computer. Um, it is with the computer. It will shift my electronic transmission. And it comes with uh, all your usual power position sensor kit right there. TPS5. That I have to mount somehow when I put my carburetor on here. I'll have to find a way to mount it to something that will allow me to operate that. And that is something that allows you to go online if you don't like the profile that they downloaded based on the, the recommendations you give them about your vehicle. I just want a daily driver. It's got a nicer cam in it, but it's not a heavy duty. I mean, it's not for street or performance driving. It's just for what I'm doing, just driving around uh, as a business. It comes with cables and everything that goes to the transmission, including that right there, which is the main thing. And that is it down there so you just got to make sure you match up the right harness so i don't know exactly when i'm going to be doing this sorry for moving this camera around so much i'm hoping to maybe start doing this here in a couple weeks and i don't know if i'm going to do too much in the line of uh you know tearing everything out and you know filming everything i probably will as far as i make progress this also i just want to cover this part here this quick end Gen 2. I didn't know. I'm, I need more clarification about this resistor. How you connect that. Because you're supposed to put that in there if you're using like an old points coil type of ignition, which I am. And it has a. I'm trying not to move my fingers around on this GoPro because it starts making weird noises. This is from the shit. This is the. Instructions. I'll just go over this real quick. You can pause this if you need to, if you can see it in the video. I don't know what it's going to look like. I'm just looking through the back of the GoPro. And that's for your throttle position. Yeah, let's see here. Quick setup. I think I missed this page here. That's page 7. Page 8. So, tells you about your different connections. On this one here, you're only hooking up the back uh, output shaft sensor. There's nothing for the first one. I'm not sure why. I don't really know that much about this. Like a lot of people, when you're cheap, <laughs> I'll spend the money, but it's like I don't want to, I'm not going to spend thousands of dollars on something that is just a. Uh, it's like I don't have to do any of this. I could do use that TH400. But it doesn't have the overdrive gear that I want for highway speeds. And I think the rear end of my vehicle is probably a 456. And it's uh, got dualies on it. But uh, if you watch some of the other videos on my channel, you can see where I've been mechanically speaking on this thing. 
people with light. Anyway, so that's kind of what I'm doing with this. Hopefully you can see that light. This will kind of allow you to see some of the directions and how this works. Almost all this you'll be able to find online. Anyways, it's not like you really got to watch this video. I'm going to probably post this on my step band page. Maybe I use a little short put on my locksmith page. Online, you can go on there and you can have them, you can do a custom uh, profile for your computer. If you want a harder shift, softer shift, uh, they can do all that. Now, if you get the, the quick four, mine's just the quick two. If you get the quick four, the newer ones, and the five and six, I don't know, whatever, what other ones they have, you can do all that on your own with, with your own computer. Adjust all that stuff, all the parameters, uh, and it'll show you all the information, you know, temperature, pressures, all that stuff. The Quick 2 doesn't really do all that. It'll give you everything you need to know on the user face of the Quick 2, but it will not uh, allow you to actually do much on the with the laptop or computer or anything. So that's that. That's the I put this on there in case you didn't want to see the directions on it. And a quick too. Pretty cool. And on this you just push it down, that's how you program and you toggle between the different uh, readouts and then uh, put that somewhere in the cab. So that's where I'm at and uh, I'm using a divorce choke on this this thing so I don't know if people realize small box Chevys, you're going to use the old stock chokes. You're better to use the, the spacer. It's actually uh, they call that it is a yeah it's a car mount gasket but this is also as a an insulator to keep your carb from sitting there in that stainless or that uh, cast iron intake you want that uh, kind of because my choke actually mounts right there and I think maybe I might eventually go to uh, electric choke I haven't decided yet but I think uh, since I'm using a divorce choke I don't I need to use that spacer so that's where I'm at with this. That's it. I don't even have these on tight right now. They're just sitting on there. But uh, everything's ready to go. I'm just ready to start putting it back uh, in the vehicle. I gotta. I'm not gonna put the plugs in until I get in the vehicle. In case I gotta move things around, it's easier to deal with the plugs out. Uh, if I gotta shift, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably uh, prime it up real good. Uh, drop the distributor in. Where so I know I don't want to lose track of where I'm at on the the marks. Cause you're either here you're either on the one or a six you know uh intake or compression and so that's what i'm just gonna leave right now if i want to move that around i'll probably drop the distributor in and then make sure i can go on ahead and uh, shift the background i know i'm on number one so uh when i start up so that's all i got that's just kind of this does come with all the cables and everything underneath there directions all that stuff i'm gonna try to knock it all out in a week when I start it it'll, hopefully I'll be done within a, a week and I'm just saying it might take a little bit of time because uh, I do need to figure out that transmission and I need to uh, I'm trying to debate on whether I want to even connect the torque converter until after I do the break in for the engine because this uh, older 74 small block Chevy I have to run it for 20, 25, 30 minutes, and then when it's done and it's cool, I have to retorque the cylinder heads. And that's what these uh, call for. And it's it's the, the plate. The head gasket is the, the steel shim style. It's not the, film, the big, thick, blue Felpros, Prentice seals or whatever. This is the, just the shim stock style, and you spray the uh, copper coating on each side. And then, uh, yeah, I don't even see it over there. You spray the copper coating on each side, and then you torque them down. And then it does require a retorque, which is fine. I'm just gonna put these on while I run it, and I'll go ahead and pull them off, and and then uh, torque it back down, and uh, I'll change oil at that time too because the break in you don't want all your little uh, metal from the uh, cross hatch going back in there. So once you do the break in, drain that oil, and then put in uh, your new running oil that you want to run with. So that's the plan. And with these vehicles also, you always want to buy some of this. These older vehicles, they, they need this kind of stuff. 
the synthetic oils. I'm not going to use synthetic. synthetic. Synthetic oils usually don't have enough zinc, they say. I'm going to go off that, and that's kind of what I've always heard, and that's what I'm going to go by. So, with that, I think I will get off here. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I'll try to keep in touch, see what's going on. I do have another SM465 three speed with the grainy low over behind there that I'm actually selling. Garage is a mess, and once I start going, I'm, it'll get cleared out. So, we're actually uh, going through a deal with my in laws, and we've been kind of slowly packing all their stuff up. And then uh, my stuff has all been piled down here. I have an office upstairs in my house that uh, all that stuff came down here. So I just got a mess. I always a mess, but uh, I try to keep a little area over here. And I keep moving things around trying to find stuff. So I, my table becomes a catch-all for everything. But, uh, yep, it's a mess. But that's what I'm dealing with. Once I start swapping these out, uh, I'm, I, have a, I know I have a buyer for the straight six. And I'm going to put the old transmission that it came with back on it and then keep the one that's in the step van now that has the e-brake in case anything goes wrong with that 4L80E I'll go ahead and throw that throw back the other one in I won't have a parking brake in that vehicle once I pull that SM465 out because it has a, an e-brake so I won't have a parking brake until I've run new cables and then I have to do the brake hardware you know for the emergency brakes so uh, I, I'm gonna have to deal with that so all right, I'll talk to you later.